Hi, sister. How are you? Hi, very good. Thank you. Good. A little different, but good. <laughs> this is one of the most challenging years to plan because you need to have a plan A, plan B, plan C. Something that we realize with the, with the staff is that we cannot get attached to the plans because they can change all the time with the different guidelines. But we have to be very focused in our vision, that is to create relationship with the students and try to bring them to Jesus. So that is our primary focus. Yeah, we are really, to be honest, changing all the time. We are trying to like have different ideas, but everything is going to depend how the virus is going. We want to keep doing things in social media, as we have been doing in the summer, trying to let the students share their testimonies or reflections, especially for the students that are not coming back and are going to be taking classes on, online. We want to be present there for them. So I think digital evangelization for us this year is going to be a challenge, but we are trying to be prepared for that. But also not forgetting that our primary focus is to build relationship with the students. So we want to be there on campus for them, not only here, like waiting for them to come. We want to go there to find them, especially the ones that are more in need. So we are going to have different kind of events. We are going to be doing small groups, that is one of our strongest ways to evangelize. Not sure yet how, if they are going to be online or no, probably depends if the students are here or no. We are going to keep having service events every month. We want to start like reaching out to a, a poor community here, like around this area. If everything works, we would like to go in December to serve in a mission trip. We are not sure if we are going to be able to travel international as we have done in the past. Yeah, and we are visioning also the retreats that we want to have this year with the students following the guidelines. <laughs> no, that is a little challenging too. And the outreach events that we want to do on campus as well. Um, probably this year is going to look more one-on-one -on -one than big gatherings of groups. So yeah, we hope to be there for the students. I think having Father Daniel here is great. He's a young priest and I think can bring a lot of joy and life to the community, especially for this age. I think the students need to see witness of people that give their lives to the Lord. And he's going to be full-time here, so I am very excited uh, for that because he's going to invest a lot of time in the students. He's going to be on campus. I love to be with my habit in the camp on campus because the students can remember that the Lord exists. But also having a priest is great. <laughs> so now we can be a good pair uh, to show that God exists. So we have four full-time missionaries here, plus Father Daniel, Father Clemens, and myself. The missionaries are very well prepared. They have spent the most of the summer in training of how to evangelize the students in this culture. Having them is really important. They are really the ones that run the most of the things that we do in the Newman Center. The missionaries are Bernadette from Minnesota, Kylie from Texas, Thomas from Florida, and Luke from Ohio. So you ha we have a little bit of everything here. But we cannot build campus ministry only with the students. We need also adults, we need parishioners that can support them. So like keeping this family alive, I think is really important. Last year we have some events where some of the parishioners like prepared lunch for students and that was very beautiful and the students felt very loved. <laughs> so I think um, the first support is prayer. I think this is going to be a challenging year for all of us. So praying for our mission will be great. Then being involved in whatever you feel called to be involved. There are different ministries in this church. So I don't know. Depends your gifts, your talent, your time, how involved you want to be. Financial support is really, really important, especially in these times. We have to adjust to too many changes, especially implement more technology that we didn't need before, but now it's very important. But we cannot do that without financial support. So I, I please ask you to keep helping us now more than ever. And I know when we are generous, the Lord multiply our generosity.